Now we will launch MaxMate with some 2D data that we digitized in an earlier chapter with MaxTrack and begin some data analysis. We will open the treadmill MQA file in MaxMate here. Once we have brought in the trial, we can see the data displayed numerically in the spreadsheet. We can now work with the features in the menu bar and toolbar to create our analysis. We can also open any saved AVI files right here in MaxMate to get a visual representation of our data. Click on the Analyze option in the menu bar and let's start by doing some signal processing. Signal processing includes interpolating, which is used to fill missing points in digitized data, and filtering to smooth the motion capture data. Motion capture data is generally interpolated with a maximum gap of 10, assuming standard video data, and filtered with a low pass filter with a cutoff frequency of 6. The new data is now stored in the tab Data while the unfiltered data is stored under the original data tab. Now that we have prepared our data for analysis, we can graph some of the important kinematic parameters. The position analysis allows you to create XY graphs based on the movement of up to 50 markers at a time. You can also graph any of these markers relative to another axis or marker. The position time analysis allows you to create graphs based on movement over time. You can graph any of these markers relative to another marker. Velocity and acceleration graphs can be created in a similar manner. The stick figure analysis allows you to output a particular stick figure. This stick figure can be set up to represent a whole body motion or just the motion of a single segment during the motion. For this function to work properly, you must define the connections by specifying the start and end markers for each stick figure segment. You can define up to eight such stick figure segments. To avoid a blur of lines, you can set the plot frequency to a lower frequency than the actual sampling frequency. The angular analysis allows you to calculate the angle between two vectors or a vector and a plane. You can graph up to four angles at a time. The vectors are defined as vector 1 being the vector between marker 1 and marker 2, and vector 2 being the vector between marker 3 and marker 4 in the angular analysis setup dialog box. In many cases, it is practical to use the same marker for marker 2 and 3. For instance, when calculating the knee angle, you may want to have one marker on the hip, one on the knee, and one on the ankle. Angular velocity and acceleration graphs can be calculated in a similar manner to the angle versus time graphs.
last feature in the Analyze menu is the Batch Mode. The Batch Mode allows us to create all of these graphs with one click, assuming we have set up our graphs correctly. We can make changes to the individual graph settings by clicking on the graph name.